is Crazy Faith Farm back in the milking room and today we are going to be showing you how we make chevre which is a good milk cheese it's kind of like a ricotta base um we're going to be showing you from literally fresh from the goats the milking process then into the kitchen where we separate the curds from whey which turns it into our cheese and then we're going to be showing you the final product so from beginning to end take to table chevre milk out of our goats. We have sonnens and we're going to turn it into cheese called chevre which is ricotta type cheese. It's soft and you can flavor with anything you would like that your little heart desires. Seasoning you can use on crackers. I prefer to use it in lasagna. So here we go. All we do is pour this into pans, pots from our stove. Slowly so it does not splash up. I have done a fair share of splashing. Try to fill it up. I'm going to turn my stove on to number seven, which is a medium high. I like to make two pots at a time. Now I'm going to put my timer on for 15 minutes. In about 15 minutes, it should be starting a, to boil. Hot enough, not quite boiling, but starting to boil. And then we'll be back. Alrighty, about 15 minutes, about 15 minutes went by. So now we're just going to give these pots a stir to incorporate all the milk before we add the vinegar. When raw goat milk is chilled quickly and drank like regular cow's milk, you cannot tell a difference. However, when you heat goat's milk up, it turns into this luscious, tiny flavor, which Chevre is known for 
Now, to add a half a cup of vinegar, you can add white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, or lemon juice. Right now, I have white vinegar. So after I add it, I'm just gonna wait for it to do a really, really light boil. And then I turn the heat off immediately, or it will bubble over. Quickly, it bubbles over. I have my fair share of messes on this stove. So this is where the curds and whey will start to separate. It takes a few seconds, up to a minute. You'll see mounds starting to form, and it'll turn into this really neat, wavy, I don't know, texture? Now the solid that you see will turn into like one mound, if you will, and that's when later you will see, when I can dump out that the curds and whey will be separated. So after two hours of letting the cheese sit, on top of the stove cooling down. The curds have separated from the whey, which is actually what makes our cheese. So we're gonna take the pan over to the sink, and we're just gonna drain it. First I pour some down. Get rid of some of that. Then I'm gonna go over here and get my colander, which I've lined with cheesecloth. Put that in the sink. Now this is actually the most difficult part of the whole process is keeping the cheesecloth in the colander and not losing your cheese. So slowly add your cheese and what oh the curds and whey into the colander. We'll make like a plop here in a second. some of that. All this process is really is readjusting the cheesecloth. I do bleach the sink before I do this. I'm a bleach freak. Now with this, you just pretty much move the cheesecloth. Just slowly let that weight come out. Now, when I get out down to more, I'll start putting it in my red bowl, and I save some away and I feed to the chickens. They love whey. So we got most of it out. So all I'm going to do is transfer this bowl to the red bowl. When that is done and firmed up, we put it in these really neat plastic containers. They kind of like, they have a seal to them. And then our finished product, we put in the freezer, and this is how we sell it. And that is your frozen plain good amount of cheese. Until next time, enjoy your day.